Hello and welcome my Barbie dolls with anchovy flavored scratch and sniffs on your butts. How you doing today? It's Super John Bombo here and one thing that we're all very clear about right now is that Sada is pretty freaking awesome. She is the best hero in the game and I have to say this from experience. Ninja Kiwi's gonna nerf her. So one thing that I want you to do and I want you to think about is what medals have you really been struggling on lately? What medals do you really just want to earn just so you can have them on your game before Ninja Kiwi comes in here and says, Nope, we're not going to make it so easy for you. You're really going to have to work hard on these instead. So take advantage of this while you've got the chance. Because right now, we're going to see how far we can go with Sada. Now, I'm not going to go as far as saying that you can one Tower Chimps. But two Tower Chimps has been a really long thing. Uh, I better think for a really long time. It's been one of the most concentrated, hardcore efforts. If you are a pro, you've done two Tower Chimps before. In fact, when the game first came out, there was only like one, maybe two strategies that would even existed for two Tower Chimps. And then they upped it to, you know, maybe five, maybe ten, maybe fifteen, and then now we're up to about twenty-five before this recent update. But as of right now, there's likely more than one hundred different two Tower Chimps strategies. And a majority of them are with Sada. So what I want to do for you guys today is I wanted to try a quote-unquote one tower chips. I want to see how far I can get with Sada on chips by herself. Now I'm not saying that this is the, va the most valid strategy in the entire world. and that, that this is exactly what you should do. But I just kind of want to see where we can go and how we can do this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a step further, and I'm going to see what I can do with a fairly fun, fairly cool tower, and just see how easy two tower chimps really is right now. So I've got my game sped up right now. We're currently on round 17, and all, th all you're going to notice is that all of my money is going to go straight into Sada here. Every single dollar that I earn, we're just going to whoop, level her up a little bit. I'm also just leaving her on first. I'm not changing my, strategy, my uh, targeting or anything over here. But the only thing that I am going to watch out for is right now the only thing that, so that uh, Sada cannot pop is lead balloons. So that's all we have to watch out for. Round 28, round 30, round 37 and 38, I think? Both of those are pretty terrible rounds. So we're going to do all that and hopefully own them all. All right, so here's round 28. First thing we're going to do, we're going to use our ability. This is going to take down the original lead tier on round 28. We're going to earn some of our ability back because we want to earn it back for round 30 and try to use it as fast as we possibly can. In addition, I'm going to change targeting to strong here. We're going to see if that's going to help us out at all. So I'm going to press this button right away as soon as I possibly can. See how many leads we can pop here. We got one, two, three, and f five left. Oh, this could be interesting here. I'm hoping that we can get this around this little... Uh, turntable right here. Let's wait it out. We're not going to do it just yet. We're going to wait, 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 and now. All right. So that's going to allow us to get every single lead popped over here. We want to get this on this uh, uh, cross path so they can end up popping all these balloons. But now we're in the home free for a while. All right. More lead balloons coming out on round 37 here. So this is actual micro required. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave her on strong for now. We're going to see if we can pop these guys down. Let's slow this down a little bit. Um, I'm very worried about these leads. They are going to be difficult no matter what we do, but here we go. Right away, lead balloons, get them popped. You actually have to plan ahead at least a little bit here. I'm going to leave her on strong for now, but I might end up changing that soon. Let's switch her back to first. We don't want to hit the lead balloons on accident here. We want to hit all of the leftover balloons and all that nonsense. We do have some camo balloons coming out here and everything. That's okay, I think. I think. I hope. I'm going to leave her on first for one second. We're going to move her over to strong again, jump on these leads. Hopefully that's the last of the leads filled up. And I do want to actually earn my ability back as fast as I possibly can. So the, these red balloons over here are actually perfect. I know it seems weird to be like, oh, we want this to take more time. But we actually do. We got it back to half strength right now. We're going to move her back to strong. We're going to level her up again. And now we got to watch out for these level loose around 38. This is, again, going to be difficult for us. So what we're going to do is right away, as soon as we can, we're going to press this button. Whoop, there we go. All right, so we pop some of the leads there. Move her back to first. Clean up all these balloons here. Again, this might seem pretty easy to you guys, but I have practiced a little bit, so I actually know what I'm doing at least at least a little bit, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. All right, ceramics coming in here. This is actually going to be pretty difficult, man. I know it seems weird, but ceramics can be deadly. Let's see, will we take them down? We do take them down. Uh, we're going to wait a second here, and we're going to jump on these leads, and it looks like we do take down round 38, and we're in the clear again for at least a few more rounds. All right, so for round 40, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump on it. 
We're gonna do as much damage as we possibly can, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for our ability to come back, believe- Oh, crap, I actually did not want to pop this guy. Um, will we be able to pop him? I don't think so, actually. Let's see if we can get our ability up in time. <gasps> oh! Oh, and we don't! So, believe it or not, that's the first time that she's ever actually killed the Moab for me here. Um, that's kind of weird, actually. And we might have to plan this out a little bit different. There we go! See? Oh, no, it did pop! Huh. All right. All right, if we can do that much Moab damage, let's just see if how much damage we're going to do by just leaving her without a sword charge or uh, a th an ability yet. Let's see what's going to happen. All right. That didn't work at all. So I have one more technique that I can try off, and that's using my ability over here so I don't get the max amount of attacks off with Sada in range. And that seemed to have worked, but we still have to get her ability back. So we have to hope that this Moab being slower than the ceramics from before is going to allow us to get this ability off. And it looks like, with perfect timing, we do take down that Moab. Very, very scary. But again, with a little bit of micro, a little bit of timing, a little bit of skillage, we're able to take it down. Which, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you press that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. Don't have a super duper delicious day until this video is over, though. No, don't, don't do that for me, please. So we actually hit a very, very good mile marker for us. Round, or level 9, rather. Level 9 is the clear Sauda champion round. Level 8 gives us an extra bit of attack speed, which helps us out quite a bit, but then level 9 increases our damage a lot. Alright, so what this allows us to do is to do 3 layers of balloon damage with each strike instead of 2. So this might seem like it's only one third more damage, but it's actually more than that, because now we're cutting uh, through even more layers. Basically, ceramics down to greens, and then greens into nothing, instead of taking... Uh, more than three shots to do that. Now it only takes two shots, so there's just less balloons in in general to have to deal with. So it's increasing our damage even more than it may actually seem, which is why damage is such a sweet, sweet nipples kind of thing to get over here. All right, so 48 was literally a breeze. No problem whatsoever. Still got to run strong. For 49, though, it's not going to be easy, but it's not going to be difficult. We're just going to throw her over here, let her uh, be on strong, do a little bit of that action. Actually, we can level up to level 10 here, so we can get our ability going if we want to for round 50 and beyond. But I'm going to move her back to first here. And I think this should be enough to kind of clean up the rest of the balloons here. And it is. No problem. But for round 50, watch out. We're going to throw down on this mob right away here. Popping a bunch of leads in the process. All right, this could be a difficult round. This is definitely a round we could lose on. Looks like we're able to take down those ceramics. I'm going to move her back to strong here for just a quick second. And switch back to first. I want to pop these yellow balloons. Ooh, that's rough. All right, I'm just going to leave her on first for a little while in here. Um, last now. I don't want to hit those random ceramics. And first, strong, first. We do pop a bunch of random balloons here. I've got my sword charge ready to go. I don't know if I want to use it just yet. Um, there's a lot of balloons on the screen here. I'm going to move her back to strong for a quick second here. See if we can pop this bow up just a little bit better. And first. And I'm going to throw it down right... No! I didn't want to do that! Alright, we're going to do something weird here. Uh, we're probably going to have to sword charge... Alright. Um, I think we lost. Just being straight. Just being straight here. Oh! What? Why didn't that happen? Alright, so we got a chance! Rainbows? Pinks? Nope. Yellow sneak through. Rough. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to change our strategy completely. We're actually going to just put her on strong here. We're going to get rid of these lead balloons with our sword charge. We're going to try to get it back early for round 51, just in case we need it. So let's get rid of just some of these random balloons in here. Ba -ba -da -da. Take them all down. A few ceramics on the screen. That's not a big, a big deal. Now that we got her on strong, we can jump on the mob here. And we should just be able to take it down with what we've got left here. And that worked perfectly. All right, and all of our abilities are going to be back by the time we need them for round 51. Alright, so 51 is a big chunk of camo ceramics. Wasn't sure how bad this was going to be, but because Sada's automatically camo detection, looks like we do got this one covered as well. Don't need to use any abilities. And this is important, though. I know I'm talking a lot about which ability I'm going to use when and how and if I'm going to save them, but this could mean our death. If we don't use the ability at the right time or whatnot, it could just completely kill us for the next round. So thinking ahead is actually important here. Alright, we still need $18,000 here to level up, so that's not happening anytime soon. We're going to leave her on strong for now. I'm going to use my sword charge here. Get rid of all the balloons. See if we can do some extra Moab damage with these guys. Alright. Just put her on first, I guess. 
Why not? Oh, that's perfect. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! Jump on that. Kill a bunch of the balloons. Hurt the ceramics as well, which may not seem like it's important, but I think that'll get us through these random balloons here. Got her on first. And we do clean them up. Beautiful. And we've got our abilities pretty much ready to go here. Pretty much. Not exactly. We got her on strong. Both abilities ready to go here. We're going to jump on this Moab right away. See if we can get through that guy very, very quickly. There's not very many balloons in the way, so this, this ability isn't going to do much. But um, the other one will. Ooh, that sucks. A yellow balloon. All right, I went for the Leaping Sword here a little on the early side because I was allowing myself to get some extra red balloons to sort of slowly sneak through the map here, which allows me to get my abilities back again for a round that I think we're going to need them, round 54. Now, we're going to keep her on strong here. There's only two Boabs on this map, but... Uh, on this round. But they can still be pretty difficult because they're surrounded by billions of ceramics. So we're going to go for an early sword charge. Pop those guys down. We're going to put her on first, jump on this Moab, and see if we can clean this guy up fast enough. First, I guess, close, strong, whatever, as long as we're popping Moabs here. That's what I really want to do. Alright, that Moab's not going to pop, though. That could be difficult. That might be too much for us to handle. Oh, yellow balloons. It's kind of hard to believe that we're on round 55 now with a single hero. What the heck is going on right now? Is this possible? Should chips be this easy? I don't know. Now, I shouldn't say easy. This is the easiest map in the game, and we are spending a lot of money on things. So that's definitely something to keep in mind here. But it's not like it's an automatic win or anything like that. Hmm, that didn't go well. And every round is a bit of a fight. Uh, that is definitely, definitely true. So uh, let's do a... Pop them on strong here. We're going to jump on some of these. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to jump on ceramics, not green balloons, dude. What the heck? All right, I'm going to do this a little early here. We're going to go for our sword charge. We're going to see if we can get back something to pop this Moab or just hope that these abilities come back eventually. All right, I think we got enough damage here. You cannot pop full strength ceramics, but slightly weakened ceramics you can pop. So that's how close we're cutting it right now, guys. <laughs> Did we damage the ceramics or not? <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, another ability here on our, our Moab. Everything else should just be cleaned up. Every round is an uphill battle. We're going to go for another early Moab strike here. All right, last second ability. Not sure if that was the best thing to do, but we're back in action to pop these Moabs. I think with a proper ability here, we might be able to take down both these Moabs at the same time. We're going to put her on strong, and I'm going to try to just jump on both of them. Ready for this? Slice, slice. Oh, we didn't get it. That's terrible. All right, another early sword charge. Just get rid of the ceramics. Take them down. Get us back in time for this Moab damage. And that's just a very good leaping sword spot right there. You can get tons of damage off those guys. That should be game for 57. Definitely a struggle for 58. Definitely a struggle for 58 here. Um, we are going to be out of the money for a little while in here. And it looks like that's got to pop. Oh, my God. Red balloons. No way. All right, sword charge. Blue balloons at the very, very, very back here. Uh, we're back in action for the Moab again. That's good news. Looks like we don't pop it all the way, though. That's not good news. Oh, we do pop it all the way. Oh, would you look at that. All right. So we're going to do something weird here. We're going we're gonna to wait it out, I guess. Come on, pop, 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 please. Yes! Thank you! Oh, I can't believe those freaking balloons snuck through. All right, a late sword charge, but a necessary sword charge. We've got two Moabs left. Um, we do get back in time to hopefully pop this Moab, and this guy should be damaged very heavily. But timing this is going to be difficult. Oh, I hit the Moab instead of the balloons. This could be the death of us. How strong are we? Can we get a little lucky here? We do! And it looks like round 58 is covered. 59 should be easy. I think we're going to have to sword charge it, though. All right, sword charge. A little late on, on round 59, but uh, round 60 is going to be... I, I'm going to say easy, I think. We'll, uh, we're, we're going up to level 12 here. We're going to jump on it once. And we're going to probably just do a bunch of damage to it with... Um... We might have to time how we use our abilities here because we want to pop the Moabs separately from each other. 
All right, so I jumped on the BFB again. We've got some Moabs here. I'm going to try to pop one at a time if possible. That didn't really work. All right, this is this is this is bad because I I'm pretty sure I need a sword charge for 50 61. So unless this is just beautiful and pops everything, we're done. Oh, yeah, it didn't pop everything. So if I do this, it didn't even Oh crap, are you kidding me? I only got one Moab down. There's no way. Yeah, done. We're going to try some really good positioning here. We're going to jump on him right here. That did pop all the Moabs, but, of course, all of them at once. Ooh, this is looking somewhat promising. We got a good spread going on. I popped a lot of the balloons. I love myself a spread. Spreads are always good. But it's still going to be close. Greens and zebras. No, just a few yellows. So I know what you guys are thinking. I have one other option here. I can use this second ability. And I can use it really late. Indeed I can. But then I'm very afraid for run 61 because it's a lot of regen balloons. And I just don't know how I feel about those regen balloons. I feel like it might be possible, but I'm just, like I said, very afraid. So I'm just trying to see if I could do some sort of weird combo that somehow magically just, like, leaves me in, in the white here. Oh my god, look how close it is. Screw it. This is what we got to do, guys. I don't like it at all. At all. I hate it, in fact. But it is what it is. All right, we're still alive for now. We just got to survive for a few more seconds until we get a sword charge. Sword charge! Oh, we jumped, but we didn't make it. Is any of this really going to matter? There's just too many Moabs. At this point, Sada has finally been defeated. She cannot beat round 61 on Chimps mode. On, at the very least, this ramp, this map. I have not tried other maps yet. That could mean different things. But even if we do end up popping the millions of regen blooms here, we cannot pop the Moabs. That was pretty expert, though. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I leaped in between two Moabs. I hit a Moab over here and a Moab over here and killed two Moabs, which, believe it or not, actually is causing us to lose faster. But still, really cool. So I'm ready to call it. I think Sada officially, round 61... At least without the sword charge, can't really do it. Um, it might be possible to pull that off on round 60 without this, but I think it's unlikely. And I think because it's so unlikely, it's not a valid strategy. Again, at least not on this map. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Sada is probably the best hero to alchemize like in the entire game. So I would say that getting an alchemist going at this point in the game is probably, probably worth it. Just going to go out on a limb here and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it. Uh, we are able to... Holy crap, dude. No way. No way. Even with... The, I only had $2,000 when I started off this this map. And I think we're going to do it. Oh, my God. All right, all right. So it's no longer one tower chips. Let's be honest here. It's not. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying that I'm going to be automatically boss here. But let's see what we can do now that this is part of the game. All right, so now we can pop leads. Um, 63 would have been ridiculously difficult, though not probably impossible. I don't know. There's a lot of leads, so it would have been difficult, to say the least. But now she can pop leads. Now we can use our sword charge. Now things should go pretty smooth for these next few rounds here, I think. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that things got a lot better real, real fast with an alchemist friend over here. Uh, we're not unstoppable or anything like that, but it it really... I, I'm not going to say easy, but I've got her on strong, by the way. Not even microing so far, and she's just doing this. With almost no abilities, I should add. So for level 15, we got increased attack range. We got popping power, and balloon bleed deals even more damage. Again, still leaving her on strong. We just took down around 77 with no abilities required at all. All right, it's official, boys. We're into kind of free play. Well, free play in a normal game. Um, this could change things, though. I might have to switch her back to first soon. Let's see. Yeah, we do get overtaken. And she is able to take down round 81. I wouldn't say breezy, but mm, we were able to do it. Whoa, that did a ton of damage, man. Whew. We almost killed a BFB with that thing before we did, like, 10 damage to it. Italy. 
All right, so we just got uh, Sada's sword attacks and sliced through many layers of balloons at once, and this was the upgrade that we needed. Because, well, we didn't really need it, but but we appreciate it. To say the least, we, we appreciate it. All right, guys, we're at the point where we're not even needing any micro whatsoever. We're deleting reinforced ceramics and reinforced BFBs like it's our job. Here's the first set of DDTs, and we completely destroyed them. I mean, I, I can't even say, like, oh, they were a little bit of trouble. They We, we went through it twice. One, two. But I can say, I think it's going to be the little for round... Uh, a little different for round 95. I think that one will be at the very least close, but I don't know how close. So here we go, we're about to reach level 20. At this point, spending money to level up your hero is probably pointless. I'm gonna kinda just let it go and see what happens, and if we get the money for it, I'll go for a perma brew. But I think at this point, we only got eight rounds left, it's unlikely for us to make $40,000. So I should mention, I think Sada is technically as strong as she's going to get. Level 19 and level 20, I don't think, and I, I'm saying think because I'm, I'm not 100% positive, make an actual difference in popping power. But the main difference is, is that her ability gets stronger. The sword charge sweeps the track three times instead of just one time. Uh, this is a positive and a negative. Um, it makes it so we do less regular attacks, but of course that sword charge is pretty freaking good, so um, no worries there. And round 94 is taken down. All right, round 95. Again, this was the round that I said that no matter who you are, this is at the very least a little worrisome. But we are level 20 officially, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our sword charge. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it gets obliterated. Holy crap. All right, I'm still worried about round 98 like a little bit, like a smidge. Everything else, um, except for maybe 100, should go down. You know, these are sometimes difficult. I'll admit it, round 97 reinforced, oh my god, uh, not every one of my strategies automatically takes them down. Alright, uh, reinforced balloons can be difficult, but it looks like in this scenario, they do get taken down. Remember, we're not getting any extra stuff for this, so we have to hope that we make, you know, $20,000 somehow in the next few rounds here to make this all happen. So we're gonna go for our, we're gonna just see, with just a regular ability here, without using our sword charge if we take these guys down. I'm unsure, not 100% sure. Um, oh, we don't. Crap. White balloon snuck through. Alright, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go for an early sword charge. Alright, we're going to... Pretty early, not super early. We're going to go for one of these. We're going to go for one of these. Not sure how much that's helping here. But, let's see. Ooh, still going to sneak a bunch of balloons. So let's do a little bit more accurate micro. Let's first of all put her on strong for a second. We want to hit the Moebs, kind of get them going in here. Get them destroyed. Let her do her job. We're probably popping too many Zoma oh Gods is the main issue. I think. I think? So we got her on strong for now. We're going to end up going like this, jumping out a bunch of these balloons. If we can get rid of the BFB and Moab layer really, really quick, then our sword charge will be even more powerful. So here we go. We're going to use a little on the late side this time around. The balloons are going down very easily. We do get three runarounds, though. All of these, oh my gods, I think are gone at this point. We just have regular balloons, we're going to switch her back to first. And let's see if we don't get overwhelmed, kind of RNG-like here for our ceramic layers. Because there's a lot of them. I was hoping to get my sword charge back for round 99, because I didn't know how powerful those DDTs were. <gasps> oh, look at that clutch daddy right there! Is it going to be enough, though? It is. All right, so we've got... Hmm. Hmm, are we going to get this back in time for round 99? I, th I think so. Let's let's see if we need it. Let's let's just go with the flow. Let's see if we need it. All right, DDTs. DDTs. Looks like they are too powerful for Sada without using the ability. Okay. So this time around, all we're gonna do is we're gonna end up using the ability here. We didn't get enough money for our perma brew, kind of as expected. Uh, let's wait it out. Let's do it a little early this time. Not super early, but a little early. Two sword charges, and let's go for our third here. Clean them up, and we are golden. All right. So we're going to jump on this bad balloon here. We're going to see if we can do enough damage to take this guy down. I'm honestly, again, not sure. This could be the first balloon that finally is too powerful for us. Could be. I'm actually going to wait on this. I think we do more damage as a regular attacker than using our ability. So there we go. Kind of waited it out. I do have my sword charge, but I'd rather wait... 
I, I'd rather wait for the DDTs to pop out, I think. All right, looking okay at best. Mm, bad balloon damage is definitely rough here. Mm, I think we're going to lose. All right, let's slow this down. We got our, we're got we at our last bit of stuff here. I guess the question is, how good is our sword charge going to be against these DDTs? Um, if we even want to use it, I guess. Maybe we want to use our original ability here. Wow, this bad balloon's got so much freaking health, dude. All right, jump on him. DDT's taken down. All right, I'd rather wait on this, I think. I, I'd rather do regular attacks, to be honest. Until the balloons, until the balloons. All right, this is going to be really, really, really close. All right, we're going for it. Oh, and we pop them to balloons before we go to the next layer. That kind of was expected. All right, so we ended up doing more damage to the bad balloon. I ended up using my abilities a lot more this time around. We're going to do it a smidge different here. I'm actually going to use my uh, sword charge here earlier. We're going to use it against the DDTs, hopefully. Uh... All right, let's give it another uh, good try here, guys. We're going to jump on the DDTs. I think it's a necessity. Let's see if we can jump, 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 ready, jump. All right, DDTs, done. All right, we're going to do this early. Not sure if that's the best play, though. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Literally the worst play. The worst play. Ooh, we popped the DDTs way earlier this time. Oh, and we do manage it. Oh, crap. Question is, do I use my ability here? All right. Uh, yes, I'm going to do it. Doing an early ability here. Relying a little bit on luck, a little bit on RNG, a little bit on whatever we're doing here. I'm not really sure. All right, we do some damage to the Zoma Gods. When do we jump, though? I guess that's the rude question. Like, do we wait till Moabs, or do we go now? We're jumping. Too many balloons, too many balloons. Crap. Crap. So, all goes according to plan. When I jump on this, it should pop, or very soon after. DDT should pop out, and then she should be able to clean them up without any extra help. She did it last time. Why wouldn't she be able to do it this time? And she does. Quite easily, I would say. So we're going to go for our jump a little early here. We're going to try to do the damage to the Zoma Gods. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could clean them all up with this ability. It's tough because you have to time it, like, literally perfectly, or else you're freaking screwed. Oh, and we do it! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> Two tower chip soda with an alchemist. Oh my god. But this is the point that I'm trying to make with you guys. There's so many two tower chimps available now. We did even get a fifth tier. We got a fourth tier alchemist and we got this going. Like, why well, didn't even plan for this? And it worked. This is why Soda is awesome, and this is why you need to use Soda all the time. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.